For the first time in the history, this laser technology was used to take down over 40 flying targets into Israel. This actually worked. And it's Star Wars. It's really an honor to be able to be part of really the next generation of what's coming out. Now come the magic. You know how much it will cost us to intercept with a laser? About dollars. The fact that there is a Jewish country is a miracle, and we need to ensure that we can continue to exist. Sadly, Israel needs to defend itself from rockets and missiles and ballistic missiles throughout its existence, and you all saw in the recent wars how successful Israel's defense system is. And we're about to have a conversation about the next generation of that defense system. I'm here with Chairman of Rafael, Dr. Yuval Steinitz. Hello, Noah. For 60 years, all the superpowers were trying to produce laser weapons. All of them failed, totally right. failed, until professors of physics in Raphael found the way how to do it. Dr. M, <laughs> which we can't show you her face, but I can tell you she's lovely. Israel has all these countries around it that have been developing missiles and rockets and drones to attack her for decades. And you are entrusted in taking those down. Tell us what you do here, who are you? I'm a doctor of physics, and then I lead a group at Rafael that works on advanced optical technologies. I study physics because I want to understand how the world works. And I said I would study physics until it scared me away. To my benefit, it never, it never scared me away. <laughs> it's really fascinating work, and you get to work on really the next generation of what's coming out. Now come the magic. Those interceptors, yeah. which are extremely good, yeah. this cost $100,000 each. Yes. You yeah. know yeah. how much it will cost us to intercept with a laser how each much? additional interceptor? About $3. So finally, the cost of the hostile missile Fancy. is much more expensive than the defense. We are surrounded by so many countries here in the Middle East in which women do not have equal rights. What does it feel like to be an Orthodox Jewish woman of Israel's defense system? The fact that there is a Jewish country is a miracle, and the fact that I can be part of that existence is amazing. It's really incredible. And we need to ensure that we can continue to exist. I'm very proud that I can take a part of that and to be able to help defend this small, amazing country with the knowledge that I have. This is what Israel is about, creating the most advanced defense systems and using light to defend the world.